Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlogs Cassette Carnage. And today we are blasting Trench Rot's Necronomic Warfare Killer Fucking Bolt Thrower Worship featuring Brooks Wilson from Crip Sermon and Unrest. He did the artwork, he plays guitar on this, he plays bass on this. Just wow. This is such a good release, and if you're a fan of Bolt Thrower, fuck yeah. Check out the link below. You are going to love this record. Necronomic Warfare by Trench Rot. And speaking of Carnage, today I would like to go over Transylvania Tapes, Dismembered Carnage, new EP, Deranged Butchery. But yeah, Deranged Butchery is just some straight up old school guttural goodness when it comes to death metal and I really dig Transylvania tapes and they're kind of uh, matching up the cover artwork of their cassettes to the actual cassettes if you watch yesterday's battle hag video the artwork had this like you know like like weed astronaut type dude with like green smoke coming out of like this lantern and whatnot and here you just have some total gore soaked death metal on this awesome blood fucking red color it's just sick and what you have here straight up is a, it's perfect exhumed worship like I love this stuff it, it reminds me so much of exhumed impaled and then vocally, like, fucking Frightmare, Ghoul, Devourment even, Autopsy, and a lot of the bands I mentioned are from the Bay, obviously, I mean, but like, yeah, these guys definitely wear their influences on their sleeve. I think almost everybody in this band is, yeah, they are covered in blood except for uh, the one dude, Joey Marks. But that's what I mean. It just reminds me of Impaled in so many different ways. Like, but the music on here, it's not as like carcass driven, even though the title of this band comes from a carcass track, which is Feast on Dismembered Carnage. So that's where the band got their name from, but do not expect hearing some, you know, heartwork style carcass on here. This is some, you know, old school fucking gore soaked death metal. And if that's your thing, then you might have just found, you know, <laughs> a band you were going to fucking fall in love with. And they had a full length before this called Aborted in Blasphemy, which is just such a cool fucking title. And we have the Deranged Butchery EP, six tracks of just, like I said, gore-soaked death metal. And it's awesome, too. Like, it, it's just done very, very well, where a lot of bands, like, I remember there was a whole entire, before Carcass got back together, it seemed like every band was, like, a Carcass clone. And there were so many to, like, pick from, and it's like, ah, eh, like, whatever. This is not a carcass clone. This is just killer fucking gore, the like gory death metal. That's all it is. And it fucking rules. And it just goes to show once more like how awesome the Bay Area scene is. It, it's sick. You have deranged but butchery, feast on the unborn, torment the prophet, the unholy crucifixion, sacrilegious mind fuck and split open the Pope and um, yeah the artwork just super sick you have this demon Christ's head just completely just disembodied awesome stuff here it kind of reminds me of like some Chris Moyan artwork sick shit and the artwork goes with the music because you seriously just have some old school, straight up gory brutality and it's awesome. And like I said, just it, I really love the attention to detail. Like 
with the translucent red tape like it's awesome like i i dig everything transylvania tapes has sent me so far it's just been like one kick-ass album after another and this ep really really caught me off guard like when i started listening to it i just was like wow like this is fucking awesome i really really dug like the raw like production on like some of the instruments but not too raw like you can just tell they didn't use pro tools they just fucking killed it in the studio and hey uh, I'm also 100% positive, no fucking pitch shifter or any style of, you know, vocal effects outside of, like, maybe a little bit of reverb, but, like, if you're a fan of, like I said, early Impaled, there's even some parts that remind me of, like, Devourment vocally, and early Carcass, like, it's just fucking, and also, Impaled, Macabre, Frightmare, like th there's so many influences on here, but to me the main one that stands out besides Impaled is Exhumed and there's multiple reasons for that one being they're from the same fucking death metal scene So obviously you're gonna be influenced by your your peers and also a band is legendary in the fucking gore metal scene like exhumed is i mean hell they have a record called gore metal and that's what this reminds me a lot of is early exhumed like fucking casket crusher exhumed this is awesome my only complaint is that it's an ep so it's kind of short but seriously it's like uh quality over quantity this is fucking fire like if i had to pick I, I really like every track on here. I'm not just saying that either. But if I had to pick my favorites, I would probably say the title track, Deranged Butchery. Uh, Torment the Prophet is fucking sick. You're going to be squeezing invisible fucking oranges just because it's just the riffs. Oh, man. Just trust me on this. You're going to be like, yo, this is fucking sick. And it is sick in multiple ways, but another track I think's great is Feast on the Unborn, The Unholy Crucifixion, Sacrilegious Mindfuck. You know what? This is, this is all awesome. All six songs on here are fucking amazing. And I really can't wait to hear what this band has in store for the future. Like, Dismembered Carnage is one of those bands that you know, there's a lot of bands that sound like this band, but they just happen to have this, like, just, I don't know if it's a vibe or there's something around this that it just kind of, like, grabbed my attention. Like, especially when I was looking through the cassettes of what I wanted to listen to. I don't know if it was just the artwork, but I just was like, I'm going to give this a listen. And as soon as I put it on and uh, the title track came on, I was just like, whoa, like this is fucking cool as shit. It sounds like early exhumed. And it just like, I, I just like immediately wanted more. And I went and checked out the full length, aborted and blasphemy and yeah, listened to it a couple more times and came back to tell you guys to get into this fucking EP because you are going to love Deranged Butchery. Like, <laughs> if you love this the way I loved it when I heard it, then fucking A. Deranged Butchery, this is some fucking killer stuff, this EP. And this is on Transylvania Tapes. $6.66, I mean, come on. Just don't go out and buy beer tonight. Just go and order this fucking record. You might as well, well, cassette, whatever. Or digital download, whatever. And I'm not sure if there's a CD version of this or vinyl. I didn't really look into it. Like, if you threw this on tape, I think there's a reason it's on tape because it sounds so kick-ass on analog format. I don't know what it is about death metal and it just sounds so cool on tapes. Especially a band like this where like you have 
a more guttural style vocal instead of your typical caveman death metal old school vocal. You have your gore metal on here and you get it the fucking way it was meant to sound, the old school way, and also pitch shifter free. And I can also tie this band into bands like Ghoul and Frightmare when it comes to the vocal delivery. Hell, there's parts on here that musically it sounds like Mortician, but then it just goes right into this like fucking gore grind style and it's like, wow, that was an awesome transition and like it's fucking impressive. So yeah, I really, you know, Dismembered Carnage, I, I just wish this was a little bit longer, but Deranged Butchery, fuck yeah, like this is awesome. Like I said, gore-soaked old school death metal. So if that's your thing, you really need to get into this. And anytime you have a female playing death metal, I just get hyped because it just seems like they add so much just awesomeness. Like when you just see a female up there just whipping her hair and it's just like fucking A. Like, and especially there's so many awesome females in death metal bands from the Bay Area scene, from Vastum, Extremity, etc. It's just, there's so much good shit. And um, this is uh, Sarah Duran on bass. But like, you have just some killer shit on here. I wish it had lyrics, but you have six tracks of just killer fucking tunes. Deranged Butchery, Feast on the Unborn, Torment the Prophet, The Unholy Crucifixion, Sacrilegious Mindfuck, and Split Open the Pope. And you can pick up Dismembered Carnage, Deranged Butchery EP on Transylvanian Tapes. And I would get your hands on this fucking gore-soaked piece of old school death metal before it's gone, because seriously, this fucking rules and just remember though it is an EP they do have a full length from 2015 this is their 2016 EP and uh, yeah everything this band has put out is fucking sick and if you're a fan like I said you know of early carcass early autopsy impaled and especially exhumed get into this fucking EP and get into Deranged Butchery, like, because this is just going to be one of those EPs that you're probably going to start hearing your friends talk about, be like, dude, you hear that new Dismembered Carnage EP? And you can be like, yeah, I did hear about it. I actually have it on cassette. And boom, there you go. Like, <laughs> seriously, like, this is awesome, and I can't recommend this enough to fans of death metal that like their tunes gory and yeah this is dismembered carnage deranged butchery ep on transylvania tapes links will be below and we were listening to trench rocks necronomic warfare and also check out the link below thanks a lot for watching and have a fucking killer friday